Hello YouTube. This is my one year anniversary. And by the way, happy Thanksgiving. It's almost Thanksgiving and this is my one year anniversary. So my up and coming video has to do with fishing for crab. But before that, I would like to thank each and every one of you out there who subscribed to me. If you're watching this and you haven't already, please subscribe. It'll go a long ways to help me make more videos. If you haven't already, tell a friend. So, anyway, when I started uh, YouTube, it was uh, basically a matter of putting something out there that my friends, family, future family can enjoy, you know, down the road when I'm gone. It grew quick. I had a goal of 100 subscribers this year. And now it's almost 1,200 subscribers. So again, thank you. There are a couple people that have also helped me along the way. And right after this clip, I'll show you their YouTube channels. If you would like to, go to their channel, subscribe to them, watch their video. I'd appreciate that because I appreciate them. Uh, my family, they've been very supportive of me. So anyway, I'm not one to talk into the video screen. You hear me talk a lot this I'm doing for you so anyway the crab fishing video is gonna be a bunch of catching so it's a little windy here I'll try this yeah so one year video one year thank you for watching this you can see this is Craig Nichols this is the one you want to look at his YouTube channel has to do with outdoors, off the grid living. Um, you'd like it, go ahead and watch his stuff. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe to him and that would be great. But again, he helped me set up my YouTube channel. So thank you again, Craig Nichols. And uh, we'll get on to the next person. This person helped me answer questions when I had them. Uh, Again, uh, he's he's into gaming, so if you're into gaming, you should check out his channel if you haven't, or you feel like subscribing to his channel, go ahead and subscribe. And again, thank you uh, to this person. I don't know if he wants his name stated, so his name is not on here, as the prior one was. So there you go, Dimwitted Fool. Thanks again, Dimwitted Fool. Hello, YouTube. It's been a year, one year since I've opened this channel up. Yep, my one year anniversary today, or at least when I launched this video. I'm doing it prior because this time last year was good. And then when I started the YouTube videoing, Fish and Wildlife shut down crabbing until March. Yeah, it was almost uh, Thanksgiving when they shut down crabbing. And then I went to March of the next year. So what I'm gonna do is do a crab fishing video and uh, show you what I do here. And hopefully I'll have some luck. I'm putting this screen mesh in first before putting the bait in. This keeps the crab from picking out the bait. And then your smaller bits of bait also can stay, it can stay in there longer. It's just window mesh screening, so that's what I use. Seems to work pretty good. And then I put a couple chunks of anchovies in here. I kind of squish them a little bit to get them start putting some scent out there. Also, for casting purposes, I use a rock. I put in the middle. And I clamp that down. Okay, I feel a crab on here. A little weight. So I just reel up real fast. I don't try and set the hook, I just lift the pole up real fast. I got a lot of weight on there. I just have to see if he doesn't let go. So I'll start walking towards, in the water towards where he is. And if he lets go, maybe I can step on him. Well, he's on top of the water right now. Here he comes. See what we have. Well, it's a big female. That's a start. 
So, female have a white abdomen, males have a pyramid shaped ad abdomen. So, this one is going to be a releaser. There you go. See it coming in. Looks like it has good size. Look at that. Nice male. Just got to go measure it for six inches or bigger and see if I have a keeper. It's bright purple, so it looks like it's a hard shell. Has to be six inches. It's not even five and three quarter, so not even in Oregon. See this? That's a male, it's pyramid shaped. That female was oval or more rounded. This one's too small. There it goes. There it goes. Gotta get closer to the water's edge. There he is, he's plowing water. A little bigger than I thought he'd be. Huh. This one I gotta catch. Yeah, you gotta measure it. I didn't think this was that big of a crab. Might it be my first keeper of the day? Gotta come over here to my measure and find out. Well, if it was in Oregon, it would be a keeper. But it's just over five and three quarter, under six inches, and it is a male. Nice hard shell too. See all the barnacles? Yep, purple, but it's too small, so I'll release it. Big wave. Ooh, okay, there we go. Gotta keep bringing it. Now it's a female, so I'll be releasing it. As I'm waiting for crab to get into the trap, I spy. A quarter. One of the new Washington uh, quarters. I want it to be another big crab. I'm trying to keep it under the water here for a minute because they'll let go if they're hanging on and and then they come above the water. Here it is. Get it closer. That's just a female, but I snared it pretty good. There's three snares hooked to it. So we'll bring her up here. We'll get her unsnared and get her put away. Or let her go. Nice big male. Snared on both legs. Have to measure it. I know it's too small, but I gotta measure it. Not even five and three quarters. Just over five and three quarters. It's not a keeper, but it's definitely a male.
here it comes. It's coming in with seaweed. Now that's a nice male dungeness. Hopefully it'll be a keeper finally. We'll have to go look to find out. This guy's covered in barnacles. No, he does not fit. Again, he's just barely over five and three quarters. I thought I had myself a keeper finally. I am getting wore out on pulling these crab in, I'll tell you. Just no reward yet. Ride the wave. <laughs> All right, coming in. Oh, another nice big crab. Maybe this will do. He looks big too. It's almost like a repeat from the last one. Come on. Full of barnacles. All right. I'm going to go on. Well, let's pick some barnacles away. All right. So there it is. I finally have a keeper. Yes, finally a keeper. Well, I know I've said this on a different video, but sometimes you'll start catching a lot more females. And then soon after, as the tides change, you'll start catching a lot more males. Now this one's an undersized crab, but I thought I could tell you that because don't give up. If you keep getting female crab, just give it a little time and the males hopefully will show up. See what it is. So I gotta take it up here to measure. Nice size male. Just I want to I want to show you this. Just missed. Sixteenth of an inch. He's blowing bubbles. There he goes. Once he gets flipped over. There he goes. Very, very small spider crab. Another female. Well, the tide's coming in. There'll be a point in time where the females stop and the males start. So this will be part of the video of me catching females only. And then I'll start catching some males. Well, as you can see, I changed places. The beach there didn't seem to have too many crab, so I'm gonna try it out here on the dock. Funny how they can just hover in the wind. Let the wind do the work. Feels heavy. We'll see. tangled up in this neither line but we'll see it's a keeper yep
All right, into the bucket. This Keeper Dungeon S took me about five minutes from the time I came out here and filmed that I've changed my location. Just have to measure this guy. See if he's a keeper. Looks a little small. Yeah, he's a little small. All right. Let him go. What do we have? Got myself a cockle. <laughs> and with that cockle comes a snail. This one feels pretty heavy. Nice size crab. Yep. That's a nice size crab. Now, is it a keeper? We'll measure them up. And by the way, both crab are nice hard shell. Oh, yeah. Just makes it. Even though the barnacle's in the way, went to one side and he's there. He's a keeper. And it's a male. There we are. Have a couple keepers in there that was my intention is to catch some keepers well this is the uh probably the end of my crabbing episode uh fishing for these crab for my year anniversary i'm surrounded by seagulls and uh, the weather's picking up the tide's pushing out that way so it's uh getting rougher out here if you like this video please smash that like button if you haven't already, I'm asking that you subscribe to my channel. It's going a long ways to help me make more videos. I appreciate all of those of you that have subscribed already. Uh, it's going well. Channel's going really well. It's only been a year. So, again, thank you for watching.